I don't know what's going on. Something strange is going on. I don't know if I'm in some kind of science fiction movie. This, this may be the end of the world. Um, I ain't got a clue what's going on. Metro station's closed. everyone. Even the street cleaner disappeared. A city of 13 million people has become a ghost town. Something is happening. Something is happening. There must be some kind of festival on or something. What date is it? Is it Dragon Boat Festival? Why would it be this quiet? Even the police have disappeared. Now, I'm not sure about this, but I think we may be witnessing a zombie apocalypse in China. I'm sure there's no festivals on. Where is everyone? This is crazy. The whole city to myself. Even the trees look weird. They're kind of fat at the bottom. <laughs> What's going on with these trees? These overweight trees. <laughs> Got a little belly on the bottom. Are these American trees? <laughs> I know I'm awake, but I feel like I'm in a dream. What's going on? Where am I? I really don't know why. There's no people around. I really can't think of um, any Chinese festivals that there are today. Um, oh, there's a huge bunny rabbit there. Oh, it must be a National Rabbit Day. Huh. All right, I'm joking, I'm joking. I can't, I can't keep it going any longer. Obviously, I know it's Chinese New Year. And I just want to say happy Chinese New, New Year to everyone. I'm in the beautiful city of Shenzhen. People around are loving, loving Chinese New Year. Taking pictures with the I love China sign. I love China too. The reason Shenzhen gets so empty during Chinese New Year is because in Shenzhen there's a lot of migrant workers who during Chinese New Year will go back to their hometowns in other provinces throughout China uh, to spend it with their family. Uh, and so they will all leave Shenzhen. There's a mass exodus of people and workers who will leave Shenzhen. Kind of like London too at Christmas time. If you go in London, it's pretty empty because everyone goes back home uh, to celebrate Christmas. So it's kind of similar to that. Um, so that's why you see not many people around. This is my second time to come to Shenzhen. Uh, but the first time I came, I never really had a good chance to explore the city. It's such a beautiful, lush, green city. Um, and I am just loving it so far. Especially with this, um, this kind of, uh, all the skyscrapers surrounding you. I love this kind of architecture. 
And look at this. Did you did you spot a single piece of rubbish anywhere? Anywhere on any of these streets? This is this is a big mega metropolis. And did you spot any homeless people? Do you see any tents? Do you see the streets lined with tents? I've not seen a single one. I've not seen one single homeless person. If you went to New York City and you look down the streets like this, this is gonna be tent after tent after tent of homeless people. I mean, New York and LA and a lot of American cities now, they've started to look like camping sites. There's just tents everywhere, homeless people. It's mad, they've got a huge homeless problem. It's crazy. So it's kind of embarrassing for America if China can solve their homeless problem. Why can't America? Look at this. This is a, some kind of futuristic utopia. It's amazing. The backdrop of skyscrapers surrounding this greenery. I think I'm a fan of Shenzhen. I became a fan of Shenzhen. Nice little park here with the trees that have got a little belly on them. <laughs> if this was the US, this park would just be inundated with tent. There'd be a tent there, there'd be a tent there, there'd be another tent there of homeless people. It's madness. I don't know what's going on in the US. Why can't you take care of your people? If there is no tents here, there's no homeless people here in this park in China, then why do you have it in America? Can anybody answer me this question? Does the American government not care about its people? Can anybody answer this question? Man, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful. I think I might move to Shenzhen. Oh. Especially with these, uh, these weird little spiky uh, fat trees. <laughs> oh my God, I just spotted something over here. Look at this. Oh, that is a Aston Martin just parked on a yellow line. <laughs> Doesn't give a damn. I guess it can afford the parking ticket. Oh, that is beautiful. Aston Martin. British car. James Bond car. Oh, it's got a, a bit of a weird wrap on it. Supreme tag there. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at the sun glistening. All the skyscrapers. That is magnificent. And did you know that there are more billionaires living in Shenzhen than there are in New York City? There's 113 in Shenzhen and there's 110 in New York. Once just a small fishing village, Shenzhen has overgone a huge transformation over the decades to become one of the most prosperous cities in all of China. Just this region, just Shenzhen on its own, has a larger economy than countries like Norway, Ireland, and the UAE. That is a long way up. Is that the uh, Kinky 100? If anyone knows, then tell me in the comments below. I'm not sure if it is. There's a lot of uh, high-tech companies who are actually based here in Shenzhen. Uh, you have Huawei, DJI, Tencent, and BYD. Yes, I know what you're thinking. BYD is a car company. No, they actually started up as a tech company and they made electric batteries. You learn something new every day on this channel.